Hey guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. This is a Poundland haul. For starters, there's one item missing, and it's not on the receipt that they sent me, so whether it was out of stock or not, I don't know, so I'll have to get in touch with them. But remember on the last one, I bought that um, raspberry shrub. Um, I ordered a blueberry one, and that has not been sent out. That's the only thing that's not been sent out, so I'll have to contact them and see why that is. Cause that's one of the main reasons why I ordered it. So we've got a twin pack of spam. We are spam lovers in this house. So I've got a twin pack of that. Got Steve his pack of reasons. There's two of the usual dime. Always ordering when I order from there. Pegs keep breaking. So just another pack of pegs, it was only a pound. I've got a two pack of the vacuum bags, so you just stick your hoover in, removes all the air. These are small, so I'll have to see how much I can get in them and if they're any good. Because I want them really for the kids' winter clothes. I've um, got two packs of the original cheddars. I do remember ordering the darker red pack. Is that the red Leicester, Steve? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, but they've sent out the original, but the original of these are nice as well. But they didn't, never never said anything. Some kitchen foil, because I needed some more. Some freezer bags, because I needed some more. They're about a pound these. I think they're about the cheapest I've seen them in places. So I've got another box. I wasn't desperate for another box, but again, while I was ordering, I've got another box. Got some gold bars. I think these were a pound there. That's just to go in the kids' pack up. We're still planting up. We've got loads and loads started in the garden now. Salad things and fruits and whatnot so he's running out of trays so I've got him another pack of trays as I say I was meant to get my uh, blueberry plant but that's not come I did order a six in one seed collection so here we've got courgette which we probably won't use do you like courgette Steve not really and the rest don't Steve loves beetroot so I think what I'm going to do is if they grow well I'm going to get some uh, mason jars and store them in there because he really does love beetroot um, some purple sprout and broccoli we've already got onions in and carrots but they'll be alright for the winter and the same for the cabbage and then this is the Christmas dinner pack going for Christmas even got the sage in there for the stuffing. So yeah. And stuff for buns. There's just one bag of uh, cheesy puffs there. I got this because I wasn't exactly sure, to be honest, what it was. Oh yeah. So it's in it. I can feel it. So for the kids' school shoes. So. You, you basically just rub it on their shoes. It's inside the sponge. No idea how long it'll, it's going to last. But yeah, I thought I'd give it a bash. Amy's got a trip to London next week Harry to see the Harry Potter, Harry Potter Studios. Caitlin is not happy because Caitlin is a Harry Potter fan in the house. So it's hard because you're not supposed to take anything um, like... Um, freezer blocks and stuff you know to keep your food fresh and these are UHT so these will be great for her to take so she can take a pack of these along with the main juice bottle I don't like to give them things if it ain't cool so I've seen these it's got loads of the packets on the inside instant noodles soft instant noodles and I have no idea what the seasonings are. There's a liquid seasoning. I wonder if that's soy sauce. Maybe. Yeah. So I've got two of the chicken. Caitlin will probably try those. 
and then I've got one for Steve to try the chilli flavour probably won't be very hot but again it's got all them different packets inside be alright for a quick dinner it says two servings I mean you can see yourself that is not enough for two servings nowhere near but it says two servings on the thing but these were a pound each so I thought it was worth giving them a try right these are a pound each kids have had these before brain liquors sour candy drink Ugh. yeah don't ask me why I got them I got them you can see the liquid in it but it come has it got like a, sp a roller on it or something at the top I know they've had them before so I can probably have them tomorrow after swimming I'll stick them in the swim swimming bag it'll keep them quiet in the car on the way home <laughs> I got some concentrated disinfectant cleaner. I do like the Fabulosa. It does smell really nice. What? This? Oh. Um this is to spray the bottom of my bins when I take the bags out. Even though there's nothing in the bottom of the bin, you always get that odour left behind from your your waste bin and that, so I thought I'd try this. Let you know if it's any good. I've got another fairy because I'm always running out of washing up liquid. Got another Fabulosa. Same scent as the other one. And it's laundry cleanser. So you just put it in your wa washing. I think this was maybe quid. It wasn't dear. So I thought I'd try it. This was marked down. This should have been... I don't know, about seven or eight quid, I think. And I think it was two or three quid. What did you say it smells like? Vanilla. Well, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> it's just a regular cupcake party one. What do you expect it to smell of? Cake. It does. It smells of vanilla cake. <laughs> and it's by Yankee Candle as well. Like, that's why I like burnt. My, my cake smells like burnt. Right, I'll remember that tomorrow, Steve. Yeah, I thought you might be. Anyway, that was reduced right down, so I've got one of those. <coughs> got Steve some um, jute string for the garden for when he has to tie up the tomatoes and beans, beans the cucumbers when they come through. Because they are heavy and they fold over, he looks a bit of a mess, so he can tie them up. And then I got, these are 125 a piece, and they're not a bad size, and they'll hang on to the fence. And I figured we've planted up another five strawberry plants, so I figured he could maybe put one in each, and then they'll just hang over it then, and they'll have plenty of room to go down down the fence because it's a six foot fence. So I just got them in different colours, and it holds quite a lot of soil. Maybe two plants might fit in that. We've got some more strawberries anyway. Um. One pound forty. Thirteen point three centimeters diameter. Huh. Anyway, they'll be all right. Try them out outside. See how the strawberries get on in them. Hopefully, we get plenty of fruit this year. So it's not a massive haul. Um, I am a bit annoyed about the shrub because I wanted that shrub. We've planted dwarf citrus trees and. We're looking to get a dwarf apple tree as well so yeah I wanted them blueberries really because the price of fruit is ridiculous at the minute so let me know what you thought guys do you shop at Poundland and what do you get Um, I know Donna does she'll, she'll know what I'm talking about her I don't have to mention her last name Um, she, she shops quite a lot she gets some nice things from there and you can find some bargains like I did with, with this and like the spam was on offer as well. You can't get the dimes in many places. And Kleenex is very expensive now, the tissues. So speak to me down in the comments, let me know what you thought. Do you use any of the things? Has anybody tried these? Because we won't be trying them for a few days. So let us know what you think, what you've tried, what you haven't, what you like, what you don't. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.